Good morning, y'all. How are y'all doing today? Happy day to you. I was a happy day because I don't know what day this is coming out. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Tommy's Homestead Garden. So I came downstairs to turn my lights on and I realized that the wind is even stronger than it was the other day. It had knocked both my trees down. So um, the trees are fine. I picked them up with a good hand, y'all. Okay, with a good hand. And I placed them both against the fence. So hopefully that will help. But then I noticed when I came over here, um, I was seeing like some little, I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna zoom in. little fungus gnats. Oh, I'm gonna take my cinnamon. And if y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. So I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon in over the plants on the soil, really. Because they don't like it. And this will not harm your uh, plants. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my peppers. I'm going to do the same thing for my tomatoes. Come out. Y'all, I got to get these things in the ground. And every day I'm checking the weather to see if things have changed, you know, with the lows and stuff. I don't want to put them out and then the low is going to be in the uh, 40s. I want to put them out when they're going to do their best. And then I was researching and on cucumbers and stuff and squash and all that stuff. I, y'all, you know, I, I knew I planted them early, but next time, well, next year, I will not be doing that. These things don't need to be planted until at least, um, I just wanted to see how well I could do to test out how my year is gonna go with planning because this is just my second year so i knew that i shouldn't have but i wanted to see if i could do it um and i see that i can so the next time i will do it two weeks to two and a half weeks um before my last frost date my last frost date was the 23rd um well it is the 23rd today is the 21st so my last frost date is approaching, so I should have did it like two weeks before. It still would have been good because you really don't want your stuff to already be um, showing you flowers. I don't have that. I don't have them showing me flowers or anything like that, thank goodness, because if it did, I would have to clip it off. But you just want the plant to be at its healthiest and um, just researching it. It may still be able to produce We'll just have to see, you know. So that's it for that. And I'm going to go about my day. I have to go get some breaks. And then I, well, yeah, some breaks. My husband's going to put them on for me. And then I'm going to go to Lowe's. And um, I want my son to go with me, but I know he probably won't. So I'm going to have to find somebody if I, if I find some soil. Because I need at least 10 bags of soil. So. I can start getting these bad boys outside this week coming. Okay, y'all. I'm about to go into the lows. I will probably won't be recording, but I'll show you what I get. So, y'all, this is new. Um, this mosquito plant, Centronella. I'm going to get one of these. It's $6.98. I didn't come here for this, but I just came over to see what they had. Okay, y'all, so you see I got this big old bag of peat moss here. Then I have nine or 10 bags of soil. And then I've got this huge bag of peat moss here, which is three cubic feet. Um, I'm waiting on somebody to help me put this in my truck and then my son will help me get it out. 
So um, he gave me 75% off on everything. The potting mix um, was a dollar eighty. Because I'm trying to see how much this peat moss was. The peat moss was um, eleven ninety eight. I bought this big thing of peat moss for two dollars and seventy cent, y'all. What was my total? I got sixty one dollar discount. I paid nineteen dollars. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, I paid nineteen dollars and sixteen cents for all of this stuff. So the budget gardener starts again. <laughs> hey y'all, so I was waiting for the guy at Lowe's to come and help me. They called for someone and he didn't come so i was waiting for at least almost three to five minutes i know that's not a long time and so this um gentleman and his wife they were ringing up right after me and me and her had already been talking and i was talking about my surgery and she was talking about how she had got a broken wrist and stuff and so her husband offered to load the truck for me um, probably can't see it because I have a seat sitting on top of it, but I have a truckload of soil and peat moss. So now I'm about to go and go home and let my son take this stuff out and go on about my business for the rest of my day. So I think I have all the soil I need. My son and myself with my good hand drug this over here. He did most of the back work though. He didn't put it all on mommy. So now I'm about to drop him off and finish with my day. Well, now I'm going into fishy business. I didn't realize they changed their store up like this. It looks better, it looks bigger. Yeah, because they opened it up, because they had a second part over here. Oh, okay. Already, so they opened up the wall. Oh, yeah, this makes a big difference. They done stepped up their game now. Yeah, way better fishing. Hey, y'all. So, my day is winding down. Um, I had to do so much when it came to my truck tire with my brakes. The lug nuts are stripped. So, my husband was like... Gave me a kiss on the cheek. It's like, I'll take care of it tomorrow. And so hopefully he does that tomorrow. Um, so then me and my son left him at his truck. And then we went to Walmart. Well, I went to Walmart. My son sat in a truck. And I just got um, just a few items because no one knows what they want to eat for dinner. I hate having that feeling. Do y'all go through that? And you ask everybody in your house what you want to eat. I don't care whatever you want. You Sometimes you just want them to say because you just don't have an idea yourself. So um, I said, well, we'll do breakfast for dinner. And then I thought about it as I was getting stuff and I was like, well, my husband would probably come home and be like, oh man, we doing breakfast, dinner, but yeah, he said he didn't know what he wanted to eat. So I had to do an option thing because we haven't gone um, shopping for meat again which I have meat in the freezer but I don't feel like eating ribs and all that stuff so I picked up a pack of chicken drumettes um, probably put them in the air fryer or barbecue I don't know I don't know yet y'all and then I got some orange juice because we we're out I bought a thing of bacon because I need to get more bacon um two uh, bunches of bananas because my son said I ate up all the bananas <laughs> and actually I did so sorry uh, <laughs> they were good so I'm gonna dehydrate both of these um, this is the apple chips that I love so much that I can barely find but these are so good so I'm hoping that my apple chips turn out like that when I do. So I got some of these right here. Um, what do you call these things anyway? Fun Pops. Okay, so it's like 36 of those in there. And then I picked up some soft baked. Oh, wrong hand. That hurt. And then I couldn't even grip it, y'all. 
um, value pack nature valley soft baked oatmeal squares so i'm hoping that this tastes good and then i got some blueberries so if i do the waffles uh, or pancakes i will add these blueberries to them and then i saw this and it was the last one in there so i said well, it must be good so i picked it up and you know i'll be making me some coffee in a little bit and i got some cookie dough because my husband loves his cookies he is my cookie monster and so i got one loaf of bread because i have to go grocery shopping again i have a haul coming up this week but that's from like last month and i forgot to put it out y'all so i hope y'all enjoy that haul coming uh wednesday um well by the time you see this you have seen it probably i don't know anyway some gala apples and i got the i look at the the meter over here because it's you know close to that sweet so i'm hoping that these turn out i got two bags of these right here three pounds of those three pounds of the blueberry and i don't know how many pounds these added up to y'all so that's it for this little miniature haul to add on to my vlog day for my sunday so y'all take care stay safe stay blessed remember if you sow something you will grow something and don't quit if it don't you know keep going keep going don't give up you got this you know we're all new at something and i'm new at uh gardening so it's moments where i'll be like man i just want to throw this flower that died on me or this plant that died on me across the the yard but that is not what it's about it's about learning it's about growing and in that process you're going to have failures and you're going to have a lot of success so with that y'all take care stay safe i love you but god loves you more he created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are you can go out and spread god's love with distance oh that was a mouthful but i mean every bit of it so i'm about to wash my cup out right here and get my coffee a brewing and um, i'll take this bandage off when i go out i put the bandage on because she said you know you could take a bandage off when you're at home not doing anything because when you go out you know particles in the air all this that and third anyway y'all bye love y'all Welcome back to the channel. 